Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Morning teams of red and blue. Chef Ramsay sent a present for you. Both teams were challenged to create their own menu for dinner service. Crab cake. Oh, like a slaw with it? Maybe the Asian slaw. On the red team, Melanie was in love with all of her own ideas. I was thinking the pea risotto. But wasn't too fond of any of Anton's. Shrimp bisque risotto. Uh, we're thinking too much. Joy fought to get fried chicken on the menu. Don't be scared about chicken. And it was worth fighting for. Holy yep. crap, that's delicious. On the blue side, Rochelle was having a bad day of prep. Ugh. And her disappointing crab cake. I didn't want to waste another one. She so saved me the burnt one. Had the blue team losing confidence in her. Stupid, stupid ass mistake. But at dinner service, Rochelle was outstanding on appetizers. Phenomenally tasting risotto. Thank Keep you, it chef. going, yes? And more than redeemed herself. Rochelle came on really strong. <laughs> <laughs> the red team also had shining stars who excelled, cooking their own creations. New York strip. I'm walking with New York now. Keisha and her New York strip were a great combination. Nicely done. Yeah, boy. And Joy and her fried chicken were a smashing success. Joy, beautifully cooked. <laughs> but it was a different story for some members of the blue team. All of you, just touch that. Stone cold. Like. Gabriel couldn't get it together on the meat station. It's not even fucking cooked. And Richard was completely unstable on garnish. Crab cake cold in the middle. Richard! The blue team lost once again. The blue team will be losing at least one member. And decided to nominate Gabriel and Richard for elimination. Step forward, please. Chef Ramsay then decided it would be Richard, who would be forced to say goodbye to his dream of winning a head chef position with a quarter of a million dollar salary. But there was still some business that needed to be taken care of. Which one of you is volunteering to join the blue team? Misha, these colors are going to be blue tomorrow. Head over there, Melanie. And I'm coming with a vengeance. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. I dodged another bullet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to dodge too many more. You need to come back flawless tomorrow. I already know. I ain't got no choice. This is a chance of a lifetime, so no days after this can be mess ups. I don't have no more chances. Like, my chances are done. I'm excited to be on the blue team. Happy to have you. Yeah, I'm excited for you too. Sweet. So I was a leader on my red side, so I am gonna come to that blue team, lay down the fucking rules, and prove that it doesn't matter where I am, I can fucking do it. I like to change it up. I get fucking pissed off at routine. This will be good. Good morale boost too. Yeah. I'm really that much of a doubter. <laughs> Whatever, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> With some weaker chefs gone and fresh blood on the blue team. Glad to have you, Melanie. <laughs> Me and you, girl. The remaining eight know that expectations will be higher than ever. Let's go, guys. Good morning, chef. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. Good morning. But Chef Ramsay has a plan to show them expectations don't always live up to reality. I'd like to show you an example of four dishes that caught my attention for being very unique in how they are executed. In front of the red team. And we have a delicious tuna tartare. Next to that, an ice cream sundae in front of Melanie. Spaghetti and meatballs. And at the end, we have a slice of carrot cake. 
The carrot cake, I definitely want a piece of that. Like, I'm going to sneak over and give me a piece. Uh, Joy, Anton, Gabriel, and Rochelle, I want you to taste that. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> if you want to cook fresh up in by all means, go right ahead. In you go. <laughs> it was the nastiest spaghetti and meatballs I've ever had in my life. Gabriel, why are you scratching your head? It tastes like shit. The spaghetti and meatballs is really a strawberry and apricot marinara <laughs> with date and walnut meatballs over a bed of zucchini. It was fucking gross. Rochelle, the carrot cake is a veal and breadcrumb mixture with duck fat set mashed potatoes as the icing. <laughs> Thank you, chef. <laughs> the ice cream sundae, butter and gravy. The tuna tartare, it's watermelon. Ugh. Listen, it wasn't made to taste good. It was made to fool you. It looks amazing. And that's why the only thing a great chef can seriously count on is his palate, which brings me to today's challenge. It's time for the blind taste test. Oh, oh God. Damn, here we go. I knew it was coming. Let the battle of the palates begin. Joy and Rochelle, oh. let's go. Oh, no. Tasting food. Blindfolded. <laughs> I hope I at least get one. Blindfolds on, please. Chef Ramsay's much-anticipated blind taste test is a great indicator of who has a well-developed palate, which is essential to being a great chef. Joy, Rochelle, wake up. Each chef will taste four items and must identify them using only their sense of taste. The team with the most correct answers wins. Let's start off with a easy one, pear. I'm standing there, I got a blindfold on and the headphones, and chef is feeding me. Like, can you say awkward? It's awkward. Pear, chef. Good girl. Um, it's... Pear? Yes. Good job. One to one. Second, arugula. That one's going to stand out. Parsley, chef. Oh, arugula. Kale? Ugh. Arugula. Um, no, that wasn't right at all. Carrots. Carrots? Yes. Good girl. Unseasoned mushy carrots. <laughs> well done. Filet mignon. Come on, Joy. Dry as turkey, chef. Turkey. Filet mignon. Really? It's beef. I'll take beef. Well done. Heads it off. I got three out of four. I'm just like, oh, OK. <laughs> that makes me happy. Good job, Rochelle. Thanks to Rochelle's impressive performance, the blue team is up by one. Anton, Gabriel, let's go. And now it's time for Anton and Gabriel to prove how refined their palates are. Start off with something simple. Anchovies. Tuna? Ooh. Wrong anchovies. Mackerel? Anchovies. Having failed on the first item, Gabriel and Anton hope to recover on mango. Peach, melon, oh, man. And easier, fresh peas. Parsnip or something? Potato. Come on. Now, Anton and Gabriel are eager to avoid being shut out. But can they get a point with mozzarella? Mozzarella. Correct. Cheese. It's Italian, right? What kind of cheese? Um, mozzarella. Correct. You each got one out of four. Dude, I didn't do that bad, did I? The score, four to the blue, three to the red. Let's go. Scott and Jason. My background is in meat, so if it's meat, I got it. I'm feeling good. Mmm. Hot dog. Oh. <laughs> Hot dog. Nice. I don't know. Fish. 
fish. <laughs> Hot dog. God damn it. OK, four to four, guys. Next up, radish. Radish, chef. Well done. Cucumber? <laughs> radish. Son of a bitch. OK, macadamia. I had no idea what the fuck was going in my mouth. Walnut? <laughs> Pecan, chef. Damien. Oh, man. Let's round off with something easy. Cream bean. Lima bean, chef. Cream bean. Damn it. Come on, Jason. You got one. Get one. Squash. <laughs> oh, my God. Jason got zero points for the team. I was disappointed. Damn it. Sorry. Jason, come on, dude. Like, you're supposed to be better than that. OK. It all comes down to Keisha and Melanie. Thanks to Jason's poor performance. Come on, Mel. The red team has their first lead in the challenge. But with four ingredients left to taste, it's still anybody's game. Let's start off with parsnip. Parsnip. Come on, Mel. Uh, butternut squash. <laughs> Parsnip. Oh, fucking hell. Dude, what the hell? Tastes like a turnip. Parsnip. Man. Next up, bell pepper. Well, I know this. I know this. Squash. Oh, ooh, man. Bell pepper. Damn, I knew that one. Ooh. Come on. You need to pull this back, blue team. Come on, Mel. Come on, Melanie. Uh, honeydew? Honeydew melon. Oh, shit. Honeydew melon. Not even. <laughs> Bell pepper. Idiot. Man, still five to four. Chicken. Come on, Acacia. <laughs> Melanie, please give us the point. Please, please. What the hell? She spit it out. <laughs> Come on, Neil. That's turkey. <gasps> if Acacia gets this, the red team win. <sighs> Come on, country. Come on Come now. Come on, Keisha. Turkey chef. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> chicken. Damn. Chicken. Like, I'm embarrassed. It's the final round of the blind taste test. The red team leads the blue team by one point. Five to four. And it all comes down to Melanie, Keisha, and one final item. Cheddar cheese. If Melanie gets it wrong, the red team have won. Oh, come on, Mel. Come on, Mel. Hold on. Give me one second. I know this. She has to get it right. Tastes like Gruyere. Cheese. Yes! <laughs> Cheese, chef. What kind? Cheddar. Yes! 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 She said cheddar. Cheddar cheese, it was. That's right! Way to go! Nice. We got it. I'm so happy that we won. It feels wonderful. It gave me a little boost of energy and confidence all over again. Nice job. <laughs> How do I not get cheddar cheese? I'm sorry, you guys. I guess I kind of fucked up. Jason and Melanie, you blew it. Uh, Red team, well done. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Congratulations. It is a beautiful, sunny day here in Los Angeles. And that's why I'm sending you ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is new for me, Chef, but I'm going to try it. Don't worry, because I've arranged for you all to have a skating lesson with former US national champion and Olympian, Rachel Flatt. <laughs> You'll have fun, OK? Cars are waiting. Well done. Thanks, Thanks Chef. Chef. Nice job, guys. Blue team, while the red team are enjoying themselves on the ice, You'll be breaking the ice. Because today, there is an ice shipment, and we need it for dinner service tonight. Once you've finished, you'll be making ice cream the traditional way, by hand. <sighs> Off we go. I felt strong that Melanie was going to get this for us. That didn't happen, but I'm only angry at myself. Oh, shit. Literally blocks. No! Oh, god. Like, I can't do this today. Carry we carry like two at a time. Just be careful, they tend to slide. I'm aware. I don't care. 
I just want to get going and just get this day over with. Whoa! I'll grab that in a second. Come on, Jason. Check it out. This boat I now. can't believe it. We gotta go. Wow. I'm not big on ice skating, but I'm an ass man. And the girl definitely has a little booty on her. I'm Rachel. Hi, so Rachel. How are you? You excited? Without a doubt. Me too. Yeah. Get ready. This is going to be so much fun. All right. I don't even roller skate, so like this is going to be something new. And you know, I had all kind of emotions going through my head. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I just want to stay on the side. You can do this. I, I can't. I, I'm scared. Yeah, Keisha, she's kind of afraid of everything. Keep your knees a little bent. That'll help, OK? OK. Keisha, get your ass around this wall. I'm getting enough slip and slide right here. <laughs> Besides inside of a glass of soda, Woo! I don't think Keisha's ever even seen ice. Woo! I was not going to let go of that wall. I'm like, mm, nah. God, I'm back on ground. While the red team gets a little more comfortable on the ice. <laughs> Back at Hell's Kitchen, the blue team has just hit the tip of the iceberg. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't think breaking ice would be such a freaking workout, man. Oh, sucks. This punishment sucks, man. How you feeling, Gabriel? Tired. Gabriel is a little weary. He just doesn't seem to have it all together. And it worries me. I don't give a shit. While Gabriel tries to cool off. Twist and bring him in. Things are heating up a little bit on the ice. Scott was definitely a star pupil today. And it doesn't surprise me that he was flirting and trying to become the teacher's pet, because that's his personality in the kitchen. So it doesn't surprise me to see it on the ice. Ready? Watch this. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's got some power in that butt. OK, ready? Here we go. Scott, be careful. I need you for dinner service tonight. Don't worry. I'll be there. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh. Well, I knew somebody was going to eat the ice. I'm just glad it wasn't me. There was stuff in here, right? What? Did you put stuff in there? You didn't put stuff in there? No. <laughs> you have to put it in there. It was already on. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. That was embarrassing. Damn. What's up, guys? Hey. How are you? Hey. Ice cream is fucking awesome. I say, I say. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that limp. I haven't been ice skating in like almost 20 years. Oh, yeah, I'm hurting. <laughs> I just seriously pulled something. But ice skating with the Olympic champion, that makes me feel like, all right, we're champions. We're going to go in this, no problem. We got this. <laughs> let's go, Anton. Yes, sure. OK, sure, let's go. Yes, sure. And this oven, you said, is 14 minutes on the Wellington? 14, 400. 14 at 400. OK, is it on 400? Anything after that, you're going to be done. OK. We've been here long enough where we should be really getting adjusted to the kitchen. So this is for the tuna salad and the pasta? No, 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 no. no. no That's for the uh, butter, lettuce, butter, butter, lettuce. Butter, butter, lettuce. I'm not your teacher. There's just certain things money can't buy you, and common sense is one of them. They do things a little different over here, dude. While Anton finds his way around the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, let's go, guys. Gabriel is unusually quiet. Gabriel, I miss your happy humor. Maybe a little too quiet. I don't like this whole quiet thing. Focused. Gabriel's just like moping around. Like, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is, but he better snap out of it before service starts. You just seem depressed. You don't seem focused. I don't like it. What's on your mind, good sir? Do you, do you want me to kiss you? Not at all. Gabriel, two seconds, please. Man, the service ain't even started yet, and I'm about to get an ass chewing. The one big concern I have with you yeah, sure. is there's no fight back. If you get in the weeds tonight, I want to see you bounce back. You're still in the game. I have not given up on you. I haven't given up, Chef. Nothing would make me happier to see you rise and absolutely nail this service tonight. Too. OK? Yes, Chef. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now that he's given me this advice, I'm gonna take it to heart. Ain't no more joking around, ain't no more playing. Every service now has to be the best. Jean-Philippe. Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Oui, let's chef. go. As usual, reservations are hard to come by at Hell's Kitchen. I'm trying to reserve as well. OK. And with only eight people left in the two kitchens, expectations are high for the diners. I am definitely prepared to eat. And Chef Ramsay as well. Don't hold anything back. Do you yes, understand? Yes, yes, chef. yes, Chef. You're going to be fine tonight. We're going to rock it out. You got it. Excellent. Let's go, guys. Good luck, red team. Four covers level 34, two risotto, two cappellini. Yes, yes, Chef. Let's go. Scott, where are you at with the risotto? Uh, I'm about six minutes away. You want to get the capellini? Anton, go ahead and start these two capellini. Drop the pasta, please. Yes, Chef. Wow. I mean, I was shocked. Every time I try to help the kid, he tells me no. But he just asked for help. Maybe he's learning how good I am. You want me to walk it? Yeah, go ahead and walk that capellini. I'll it. follow you up with that risotto. Yeah, please walk it, Chef. Go, Chef. The risotto right behind, Chef. Scott. Hey. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you, Chef. Now keep them all like that, yes? Yes, Chef. With Scott accepting the help of his teammates, perfectly made dishes are making their way out to the diners. Can you grab Capellini? Thank you very much. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen. Do you have my tails up? Melanie, new to the blue team, is eager to get her team off to a good start on appetizers. Jason, tails, lobster tails? Oh, shit. Unfortunately, Jason, on the fish station, is already falling behind. I'm walking with my risotto. Follow behind me with those tails, Jason. I just put my lobster tails down. Oh, my god. I'm going to freak out. I haven't worked with Jason before. I trust that he knows what he's doing. Lobster! Yes, chef! I'm standing here. Risotto's plated. Stay with me, Jason. I'm with you, chef. Well, then answer me, then. Sorry, chef. Jason. Yes, Chef. Cooked beautifully. Thank you. With a minor hiccup behind them. Service, please. Let's go. The blue team's appetizers are flowing out of the kitchen. Here we are. All right. Thank you. Enjoy your risotto. That's delicious. Walking with three risotto. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's 45 minutes into dinner service. And with both teams off to a great start. Firing at all cylinders tonight, aren't they? Service. Most of the diners have received their appetizers. Mm. Yeah. Come on, Scott, you ready for me to drop those scallops? Yep. And the red team has just one appetizer order to complete before they can start their entrees. Three scallops, two salad away, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Walk away, scallop, chef. Here's your scallop, chef. And short one. Shorter one, yeah. yeah. Fuck me. Keisha. Yes, chef. Three times five. Um. I'm having a brain freeze. Three fives. Three times five, 15, Chef. I've got 14 scallops. I'm sorry about this, Chef. Scott, I... get me a scallop off. Yes, Chef, right now. Give me a minute and a half, Chef. Hurry up. I got those scallops. I'll take care of them. Take care of your other stuff, OK? One fucking scallop. One scallop, not a whole order. It's just one scallop. Like, really? Do I have to do everything? Get the scallops off of there. Just one scallop. Oh, hey, Anton. Anton, I've got these scallops. Come on, I don't need y'all to argue. It's my station. So you don't have it yet? Yeah, yeah, God, just trust me. I do. I am trusting you. I got it. I didn't send up any rubber scallops. I had one that dropped at the last minute. I don't need you coming up. I got this. That's not teamwork. Here's your scallop, Chef. Keisha, cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. Now that Keisha has regained control of her fish station. Service, please. The red team sends out their last appetizers. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, Rochelle is ready with her first entrees. Two chicken. Oh, fucking hell. That is pink. Well, almost ready. Rochelle. Yes, sir. Pink chicken. Come on, get it back in the oven, yes, in the sir. pan. Braise it. Let's go. Pink. You just do not fucking serve raw chicken. That's just 101. How long under chicken refire? I need 30 seconds. That chicken was like. Borderline. Sorry, that was still, I should have. It was like I, right there. You no, know, I don't know. I was like, I would probably eat it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That will not happen again. While Rochelle gives the chicken 30 more seconds in the oven, over in the red kitchen. Entree to Salmon to Wellington. Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Keisha is looking to continue the red team's momentum with her salmon. 
Here's your two salmon. Why is she braising the salmon there? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Hey, all of you, come here. Yes, sir. All of you! Just touch that. It's just, when are we braising salmon? I thought you wanted me to do all the fish like no, this. No, stop putting words in my fucking mouth. The salmon is crisp. I said nothing of the sort. Just cut the crap, will you? I didn't tell you, and nor did Andy. I don't know how she's cooked fish before, but tonight was not the right way. I'm getting tired of this shit. Oh, Keisha. Not a dog. Don't talk to me no any kind of way. What did you say? I just don't give a fuck. Keisha! Fucking hell, here we go. Enough's enough. Are you OK? Yes, Chef, I am. I'm catching my rhythm, and I'm going to bounce back. Let's go, then. You're good. You're good. I'm, I'm really tired again. You're good. You know. I, no, don't, be, don't be tired of nothing. You're doing good, OK? This is very frustrating. And at that point, you have to just make it up in your mind. Am I going to continue to sink or bounce back? Keisha, let it go. Brush that off. As Keisha struggles to get her station and her attitude back on track, over in the other kitchen. What goes next? Um, chicken, two salmon. What's going on with Gabriel? The blue team is trying to stay on the rails. What are you saying with the chicken? You're confusing the crap with me. What's going on? I can't have a bad day today. I have to start leading more and start pushing more. Give me what's up right now. Two Wellington, one chicken, two salmon. Yes, yes chef. chef. Wellington, you should be walking. Walking right now with the Wellington. Garnish. Garnish coming in 10 seconds, chef. Let's go then. Hurry up. Speed up. Walking with garnish. Nicely cooked, Gabriel. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. As Gabriel steps up and takes charge in the blue kitchen from his yes, garnish station. It's two halibut, followed by two salmon, two wellington. Over in the red kitchen. Chicken. Anton seems to be struggling to get organized on the meat station. Where are we at with the chicken? Do you have a chicken? Yes. Chicken's right here. I got to cut it. I'll slice it right now. I'll slice it right Water, now. Give please, it to me. Please. Thank you. Anton is fucking all over the place like he always is, you know, chaotic and still not producing shit. Chicken! Yes, chef! Just cut in the chicken where's, right now, chef. my chicken sauce? How long, then? It's cut right now, chef. Chicken, chef. Well, that is pink, right? Yeah. Hey, Scott, you slice the chicken, yes? Yes, chef. Look, pink there. That's what I'm showing you there. Yes, chef. Yeah, that's two minutes under. I wasn't really responsible for that. I was just trying to help and do whatever I could for the team. I slice the chicken. That's it. You slice it, right? Yes, I did, chef. Yes, and I and I didn't see that part right there. Give me a, give me twenty seconds, oh, chef. Oh, fuck off. Scott, the little vindictive cockroach that he is, clearly sees it needs like another thirty seconds. So this is my time to really get Anton fucked. Chicken, Scott. Yes, chef. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. As Scott, who has been all over the kitchen tonight, tries to fix Anton's undercooked chicken. He keeps yelling at everybody that we're not eating. The red diners are getting restless. This is taking a little bit of time now. One salmon, y'all can walk with that well. And while Keisha hustles her salmon to the pass. Wellingtons, where are they? 10 minutes left on those two Wellingtons. 10 minutes? Yes, chef. Anton appears to be in no particular hurry. Is there any way you guys can talk to each other? She's running over the salmon. He's fucking 10 minutes away. What do you do when there's no protein? You stand there and you wait to get cursed out some more because that's all you can do. These two men, they suck. Hey, there's your salmon. You cooked them properly this time. Unfortunately, you're miles away. Thanks to Anton, Keisha must sacrifice her perfectly cooked salmon and cook another one. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Oh, I think I need the bread knife. Er. Wait, Rochelle. Rochelle's Wellingtons have caught Chef Ramsay's eye. Oh, crap. Please, please be perfectly cooked. Please be cooked at all. Do not be blue or purple on the inside. Perfect. OK. Absolutely perfect. Sauce, please. OK. You've never worked in a professional kitchen on the line before you come here? Never, ever. You cook like you've been working in a kitchen for five years. Oh, thank you, Chef. <laughs> to be complimented by Chef Ramsay. I mean, for him to take me seriously as a potential candidate for head chef. Walking with my Wellington sauce. That blows my mind. It really does. Rochelle, that's beefy cooked. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Good work, Chef. I can totally get along with Moni and Rochelle. So far, the blue team is the strongest it's ever been. I'm already a big fan of working with you guys. With Rochelle and Melanie lifting the blue team, back in the red kitchen, Keisha is ready once again with her salmon. 
Two salmon. Two salmon, two fucking Wellington. But is Anton ready with his beef Wellington? I need two Wellingtons cut. Wellingtons, are they ready to are they ready to go? They're sitting right there. Cut them off for me, please. These are overcooked. Yep. Fuck. Wellington, let's go. That's overcooked too, man. That's those are all Fuck. over. Hello? Those are my two newest. I gotta replace them. Hey, I'm, hey, hey, I'm, I'm checking. There's some that are over, Chef. I'm working on it right now. It was like a little Wellington cemetery tonight, for sure. Like, you know how expensive those things are? Stop. All of you stop. These are over. Anton, these are not a little over. That's way over, yes. Obviously, I screwed it up with the oven. Next door's oven, I got it down pat. This one, I screwed it up. Oh, fuck me. I just don't understand making excuses for an oven or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. What is your process? Normally, for next door, it's 18 minutes and five minutes on the side. I let it rest for Stop another five minutes. Stop yelling at me. I've told them it's 14 minutes. This oven, you said, is 14 minutes on the Wellington? 14, 400. Done. That's it. I understand That's that, it. Chef. Don't think I'm going to let some little girl get in my face, start ripping a new ass, because you got issues on being a woman in the kitchen. I was just saying that this way I was Shut showing. Stop talking back. You will not break me. And I'm just going to piss you off more on purpose. Anton, fucking pull it together. I have it together, Chef. Don't you fucking talk back to me. Don't you ever I'm talk back to me. I'm not talking back to you. Yes, you are. Pull it together. You I'm not talking back service. to anybody. Anton, cut it, yo. He crossed the line. She's in charge. Uh-uh. You don't do that. You don't even rock like that. Shut up and say, yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Anton, come here. Anton's out of control. He's going down in flames. Get in here. I don't see it ever getting any better for him here. What the fuck are you doing? You've got to keep it together. I do have it together. I have a clear head on it. But the Wellingtons are way out of control. You're not communicating. Your head's in the fucking stand. And at this moment now, I need you to rise and get it back together. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. As Anton tries to gather himself. All right, you got chicken dropped inside there for me, yep. please. Back in the blue kitchen, communication. Walking with Wellington Garners in 20 seconds. And teamwork are at an all time high. Last table, guys, Summon Wellington, yes? Yes, yes Chef. Wellington. Salmon walking behind. Walking with Garnish to Wellington. To Wellington. Blue team. Yes, Chef. All of you, come here. Hey, hey, you guys, come up here. Ah, fuck. What went wrong? Just look at the standard. Seriously, I've had some good services in my time in Hell's Kitchen, but nothing quite as good as tonight. That Thank is immaculate. Chef. Great Thank job. Chef. Thank well you. done. Woo! <sighs> Best service so far. Holy shit, I called it too. I mean, I could jump into the red team tomorrow and have a great service. I could jump back in the blue team mid-service and have a great service. Told you I'd make a difference on your team. You did. While Melanie toots her own horn. <laughs> Back in the red kitchen, the chefs are struggling to get their final table together. All right, where are we at on that salmon and that Wellington? That's the last ticket. And it seems at long last. One minute on the last Wellington? You can take that. I'm following the, with the potatoes. Come behind you, hot. The final order of entrees is leaving the kitchen. Let's go, please. Dirty, fabulous. Salmon? Finally. Let's go, red team there, let's go. Blue team, come over, let's go, quickly. You guys, great job. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. And Gabriel, welcome back. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Ah, oh, I'm so excited, man. I'm killed it tonight. Red team, I'm disappointed. Keisha, I've never taught you to bray salmon, ever. Scott, I'm done with raw chicken. Anton, you sunk your team. This oven here, Chef, is 14 minutes. The other side is 18 minutes, Chef. That oven there is the exact same as that oven. I'm just saying, I should have went in there and checked the oven myself. OK, we can't blame the ovens right now. I'm blaming the oven, chef. OK, I don't want to hear any more shit about the oven. I want each and every one of you to come to a consensus with two individuals up for elimination. I'm done. Hurry up. Yes, sir. The Red Kitchen took a million steps backwards today because of Scott and Anton. I already got my votes. I need, I need space. I need, I need my motherfucking space. Honestly, tonight, I feel like both of them should go home. 
I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything here, guys. I know I'm a natural born leader. It's just part of who I am. Do I deserve to be up there? Not at all. I'm sorry, that whole incident in that scene with Chef Andy, fuck no. When she says something, it fucking goes. You just shut the fuck up and take it. They wanna put me up there, they can put me up there. I don't give a shit. Chef Ramsay should know I am better than everybody he's got. And I don't think he's gonna make that mistake. This is what I'm basing my vote on, and the fact that y'all came out the blue kitchen and y'all brought the same issues to the red kitchen. We don't roll like that in the red kitchen. We communicate, we talk. I don't think I had any communication issues. You know, I yes, think- Yes, you did. I think... Pause. Yes, you did. Casey got a well, vote. Well, I'm, I'm voting for Scott tonight, and I'm voting for Anton. Not even for a second did anything hold us back on my end at all. You forget, huh? you fit, you stand raw chicken up. Fucking A, dude. Did you fucking see that chicken? Joy and Keisha are good friends, but Joy needs to see that Keisha was braising fish and instead of searing, and that was the big mistake tonight. Who, who are you voting for? I gotta go with Keisha tonight, just because of you on the fish station. Fish station made some mistakes, absolutely. You weren't ahead at any point in your station tonight. So when, when was the salmon not ready to go? There wasn't shit coming out of the station. That's what paused the kitchen tonight. When there isn't food going to the front line, we're fucked. You keep saying that, but my fish came out when it needs to come out. Scott basically is trying to pick out somebody that's weaker than him, and I guess he views me as weaker than him. But at the same time, you sent up pink chicken. I'm telling you, you should be the fuck one going up there and saying, you know what? My station was fucked up tonight. That's what you fucking do. Blue team, well done. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. Joy, first nominee in Y, please. First nominee tonight, Chef, is Anton. All night during service, it was, listen, do this, talk to fish. Things were getting burnt, stuff was coming back. I mean, I don't even know how many overcooked Wellingtons or whatever. It just was embarrassing. It was humiliating. Second nominee and why? Uh... Scott, chef. Lack of communication, lack of trust in the team. It's no, 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 I got it. I'll do it myself. I got it under control. You utilize the people around you. If one falls on this team, we all fall. We're a team, we're a unit. It's only four of us. I agree. Scott, Anton, step forward, please. Anton. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay here in Hell's Kitchen because I know who I am, and I think you see who I am. You peaked a few services ago. What I'm worried about is this downward spiral. Why can't you talk when you're in the weeds? I didn't really feel like that was an issue for me, but clearly you feel that's an issue. And that's something I need to work on, and I have to work on it. Scott, 30 seconds. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I'm improving every day and every service. I'm trying to work as hard as I can on every single service to make sure it's perfect and get the food out as fast as possible. Why aren't you shining in the red team this far down the line? Why? Chef, I'm trying to do everything I can. I do have the drive and the passion, and I work hard every day to improve myself here in your kitchen. It's not what I expected. I want to put you both in the red team, let me tell you. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Anton, give me your jacket. Downward spiral, and I am not feeling you coming back. Sorry to hear that. I think Chef Ramsay might have taken tonight as arrogance, but I know my abilities. One day, Chef Ramsay and I will meet again. Maybe next time it'll be his restaurant next door to mine. I didn't walk away with the crown, but I was the best out of everybody in there. So that makes me the winner of Hell's Kitchen, in my opinion. Scott, back in line. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. I'm not looking for the chef with the biggest resume and 20 years in a kitchen. It's what you do in here that counts. Get out of here. This underdog is gonna rise to the top. My passion has gotten me this far. I'm just ready to show Chef that I'm gonna give it all I got. Chef is looking for a leader. It just means that I need to step up and make things perfect, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that I'm not the next one going home. I got six people left, and I need to kick all six of their asses. Chef Rochelle's the main competition. If I get her out of here, I won. 
Anton let the little success he had in Hell's Kitchen inflate his ego. It was time to let the air out of that balloon. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, Chef Lazy shocks everyone. Oh, uh, uh. With an incredible surprise. I'm here to announce the first ever. That's pretty badass. And a special guest no one sees coming. And joining us today is a wonderful surprise. Oh my god. I'm like, slap me. And my dream is. But will it be too much pressure for one chef to bear? Joy. It's not done. The meat isn't even done. So whose fault was that then? Sending her into a tailspin. Get my pleasing myself. Got to keep it together. And out of the competition. It don't even matter. All next time on an unforgettable. Oh. And unforgiving episode. Joy. Joy, no, come back here. <laughs> of Hell's Kitchen.